Good morning, Holy Spirit. For such a wonderful day. Lord God, we thank you that we are more than conquerors. Lord Jesus gives us the faith to do your will. Amen. Friends, given authority by Jesus of direct access to the Father gives us the freedom as children to ask him for anything as a son or a daughter. Jesus speaks to us through the Bible and that is why it is important for you to observe your quiet time regularly. As Romans chapter 10 verse 17 tells us. In John chapter 16 verse 25 to 33 the question we have to ask ourselves is do you like the disciples? believe that Jesus knows everything. They believe that Jesus knows everything. Do you agree with them? The reason is that apart from using the name of Jesus, why the Father will answer our prayer? As Jesus said in verse 27, for the Father himself loves you dearly because he you love me and believe that I came from God. <laughs> Jesus talked about scattering of followers and peace in him. It is an assurance that Jesus is always in control of all situations we face in life. Beloved, I don't know the situation you are facing, what you are going through, but the Lord is with you. What Jesus has done for us is sharing his Father's love for us in his fullness so that we have direct access into his holy presence. 
On the contrary, only the high priest could approach the mercy seat in Old Testament period, and that only once a year. But now, Jesus gives the authority of direct entry to the Father's throne room, and we are free to ask him for anything as a son or a daughter. For Jesus says in the 26th verse of John 16, then you will ask in my name, for the Father himself loves you dearly. The disciples believed Jesus six words because they were convinced that he knew everything. But their believer was only a first step toward the great faith they will receive when the Holy Spirit came to live in them. Beloved, in spite of the inevitable struggles we will face, we will not be alone. Jesus does not abandon you and I in our struggle either, knowing that the ultimate victory has already been won in Calvary. And even Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding even for us. We can claim the peace of Christ. In the most troublesome times, such as we find ourselves today, we cannot experience His overcoming grace without the promised tribulation, as Jesus declared in John chapter 16. The thirty third verse. By saying that these things I've spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. In a sense, be of good courage. I have overcome the world as if it has been experienced now with the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. Brothers and sisters, again, we cannot experience this overcoming grace without the promised tribulation. Oh Lord God, affirm to us your peace and victory over the world. Beloved, have a beautiful and a wonderful day. Amen.